Hello, everybody, and welcome to Talk and Chalk. I'm Ken Berthelot. Talk and Chalk is the show where faith, sports, and leadership all come together. Today, we visit Laplace, Louisiana, and the St. Charles Catholic Comets. Once again, Coach Frank Monica has done a masterful job, and St. Charles Catholic has enjoyed an undefeated, fabulous regular season. We'll find out why in just a moment and see what's special about this St. Charles Catholic Comet football team. All of that right after this on Talkin' Chalk on WHNO TV 20 Sports. Welcome back to Talkin' Chalk. Coach Frank Monica has done a special job with this year's Comet football team. At St. Charles Catholic, the Comets are 11-0, undefeated, and playing some of the best football ever in the history of the school. Offensively, they've averaged over 47 points a game. Defensively, in the regular season, allowed less than 25. That's less than a field goal a game. Let's meet with the coach and find out what's special about this St. Charles Catholic team. Frank Monica, St. Charles Catholic, man, this is the year, it seems like. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who came up with that uh, <laughs> that slogan and whatnot. All, all we're doing is that, you know, we we just came up from 2A, and uh, we're four kids into in AAA, and, and all year long people have put the hat on us, and I don't know why. I guess maybe those assumptions since we've played uh, uh, some real tough teams in 2A, that uh, I think that maybe they, they, there's an assumption that we're going to be a, a 3A contender. We're not a contender yet. There's a long way to go. It might be respect for what the head coach is able to pull out of each individual player to always have them play at their best. Have you ever thought that? I don't know, but that's very flattering. It's flattering to, that people think that they respect us that much. And uh, But we do have some good hard-nosed players, and, and they, they give us everything we have, and that's why where we are here. Uh, but uh, we know that uh, what the task is at hand, and, and uh, there's no such thing as, as, as an automatic win in the playoffs. And unfortunately, we drew Patterson, which is one of the best, better teams in the state. They have tremendous speed. In fact, I even asked Coach Benton the other day, I said, Coach, uh, it looks like my, my remote is stuck on fast forward. And, <laughs> and I said, I haven't seen any, any speed like that in years and since I watched the NCAA 400-meter uh, relay. And uh, they're just a tremendous, tremendous team, and, and uh, we just have to keep the things in front of us. For anybody to beat St. Charles Catholic and the Frank Monica coach team this year, they're going to have to find a way to score points because your defense has been phenomenal. Numbers of shuts out, uh, shutouts, rather, uh, very few points allowed. What's been the key for that defense? I think the key to us is that, uh, you know, what we do in our special teams, it, it allows um, our defense to play on a long field. The key is also an offense that doesn't turn over the ball. That's crucial that you, you know, make them play on the long field. 
and and uh, and, and try to be relentless in your tackling. And uh, when we've had some breakdowns this year, it's been on the fact that we've we've uh, missed tackles and whatnot. And we've had people to move the ball on us, but uh, we've been resilient in the red zone. And that's been very, very important. But remember, in order for you to be good on defense, you have to be good on offense, too, in special team. And the reason I say that, because with all the spread offenses out there that's going on, uh, the defense is on the field. They're taking a lot of snaps now. And uh, but uh, we're not that, and uh, you know, so we make sure that uh, that you know we, we we play conservative sort of on football on, on the offensive side of the ball, and give our defense a chance to have success. But in order for you to win championships, you have to be great on defense. No new schemes, no tricks, no anything else. No, I think that we're about as bland as anybody. You know, we play a lot of zone, and we're not a we're not a, a blitzing uh, defense. Uh, uh, but we you know we play we prepare our football team all summer long with the seven on seven. Uh, we have our own 707 league with a 12-team league here, and we play against some of the fastest guys in the state uh, when we do that. So we're prepared to do that. We're prepared to play against some of the best. But yet on the flip side of it, uh, sometimes we can't tackle people in the phone booth, you know. But but I, the only thing we can do as coaches is put our players in, in great uh, position to make that tackle. And and our staff works extremely hard, I mean, on, on defense to try to get them in position to do that. The other thing you can do as coaches is you get your players – to believe in you and to believe in the coaching staff. And these kids tell me they believe in you and they believe in this coaching staff more than anything else in the world. Well, I, I, that's that's very, very nice and whatnot, and they lie very well. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think it's, it's very, very important that, that, that our guys understand how hard we work behind the scenes and not just on the field, whatnot. I got a group of coaches that, that they, they really love to win, uh, and, and four of them have been alum alumnus from the school so and, and they know they, they were here during some down years and whatnot and they know what goes in behind the scenes and I think our players appreciate that they see how hard our coaches care how hard they work to try to put them in position and I think they feed off of that aspect of it and uh, we've been through uh, some tough times this year I mean it's we've lost uh, we've lost uh, starting players since the beginning of the year we, we're playing without some of our better players now and whatnot and uh, but we continue to to have some success so hopefully we we can, that can last for at least another week. Nobody expected you to go to the Dome because you jumped up in classifications, as you said, by four students. But guess what? You have a great chance, as good a chance as anybody in the state to get there. Is that uh, maybe an extra bit of satisfaction for Frank Monica and his coaching staff? It is. I mean, uh, being in the Sweet 16, you know, I, I, I must be realistic. And, and uh, one of our goals at the beginning of the year was to try to, to run the table in the re regular season. But if you're going to win championships, you need to play well in the playoffs. And I think there's no different. Uh, the matchup between one and two uh, all year long is happening on the quarterfinal round, which no one expected that to take place. But, uh, you know, as I told the players, hey, I'd rather have them here at home than have them on the Superdome turf, you know, even though it, it would mean being in, in a final game. But that's a long way to go. Uh, one, any one of the 16, can, uh, two teams there can end up there. Uh, Kenny, I'm just, I'm just tickled that we're one of those at this point. Um, but um, if your team gets hot in the playoffs, and uh, that's all you ask for because, you know, we've been there before. And it's just because you're in the playoffs doesn't necessarily mean that you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna play well. And that's what people don't understand. The semifinal ball game last year at Evangel, we didn't play well in that semifinal ball game. So just because you're in the playoffs does not necess uh, necessitate a, 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 good, a good performance by your football team. When we come back, we'll meet some of the leaders that have helped St. Charles Catholic to this very special year, right after this on Talkin' Chalk on WHNO TV 20 Sports.
Welcome back to Talking Chalk. This St. Charles Catholic Comet defense has been exceptional this year. They've allowed only 25 points a game during the regular season and only six points in the first playoff game. Let's meet some of the defensive stars that have made this happen. Ross and Mackey, seven and 11. Boy, that's the right numbers for a St. Charles Catholic in the defensive backfield. Anybody ever tell you that? Yes, sir. First time. <laughs> yes, sir. First time. Well, that means good things are going to happen. Huh? Yes, sir. Hey, tell me about this team and, and what's been special about the defense on this St. Charles Catholic. Um, we've just been ruthless the whole time. We ain't never stopped. We never backed down from nobody. It's all about heart on this team. We couldn't do it without the coaching staff. Coach Wayne pushes us to a limit, puts us on a different level. And when we come out, people know when we come. How physical is this St. Charles Catholic? Um, for right now, we all saying that we're pretty physical out of the whole state. And we put up only 25 points in the whole year, kept people out. And we just want, we want to keep people out of the end zone, have a goose egg all year. You know, when we talk about physicality, we talk about, some people talk about just hitting hard, but a lot of people say it starts with attitude. Talk about that. How has your attitude helped this defense be as successful? Because you guys are just tearing them up statewide. Yes, sir. Uh, we all, like Coach Wayne always talks about us with our attitude. We, we know we're not going to sneak up on nobody. We know that everybody knows who we are. We know that when we come out, we got to prove who we are. We can't back down from nobody. And attitude shows leadership on the defense. We got a couple seniors on here, but our juniors are still there with us. And they stay together, and we all won defense. Ross, a hard-nosed guy. You know, he's one of the guys that, that Ross, if you never takes a lazy step on the field. He's 100 miles an hour, everything he does, every practice, every game, whatnot. He might go the wrong direction, but he's going to go 100 miles an hour in the wrong direction. Now, can you talk about this defense? What's so special about it? Oh, we always fight and we never give up. Uh, at practice, we're always working our hardest. And uh, just Coach Wayne's always pushing us and we never give up. Key to the schemes that allow you guys to shut out people and hold people to the few points that you've held them to. We got to know our assignments. We always uh, run into the ball. And we always got to communicate throughout our whole defense while we're playing. How good can this team be? We'll be as good as we want to. When you talk about Coach Monica and Coach Wayne and, and them getting you ready for the season and ready for life, what difference have they made in your life? Tell me. Oh, they do a whole bunch of extra work for us, all after hours. They always stay after practice, making us watch film, uh, always work hard in the weight room, and then just always keeping us in straight line. Mackie's just a headhunter. Mackie loves to hit, and, uh, and he's an excellent athlete back there, you know, and uh, he, he's a free safety. Uh, he's really into it. Uh, lately, and I, I think he's playing his best football right now that he's played for, for this entire season. I hear more confidence coming out of this St. Charles Catholic team than I've ever heard coming from, from most teams. Where does that stem from? Where does it come from? Man, it comes from my coaches. I mean, you always tell us to play with a swag, and I mean, we don't, we're not going to back down from anybody. I mean, we come out here, we come out ready to play, and uh, we're just going to do what we do. And what makes this team different and special than, let's say, past St. Charles Catholic teams? Uh, I don't know what makes like what really makes it special. I mean, we all we bonded together. We had some adversity. We came together as a team. We told ourselves we wasn't going back down, and we came out. We had to do what we had to do. Biggest hurdle going to the dome. You got to overcome. Uh, biggest hurdle. Well, first is I mean, first biggest hurdle is Patterson, uh, and then we had to come over. We had to overcome our injuries. We overcome, overcame that hurdle, but uh, right now it's Patterson. They've had a lot of injured players on this team, yet you guys have pushed on and haven't failed. How have you overcome that adversity? Where did that strength come from? Uh, it came from our coaches and, uh, you know, getting our backups ready to uh, play and uh, always having, like, somebody there to uh, fill in our little missing spots. How much have you had to rely on your faith to be the successful person and player you are both on and off the field? Uh, I mean, faith is a big part of my life. I mean, my family and all, I mean, you just, you know, you just look up and you just know that you know they got somebody there with you. I mean, we had to overcome. I like, mean, our teacher uh, passing away. I know we had to bond together for that, and we just felt that you know we relied on our faith to know that everything was going to come together and be all right. The Jalen Smith is going to he's going to be playing on another level. Plays outside back or forest. Plays hard. Uh, he's just a he's just a demon on the football field. He has no friends on the football field, and he will knock you out and whatnot. So you have to you have to make sure that you put a hat on him though. He's coming. In football terminology, a defense that good is usually referred to as the immovable object. Now let's meet the unstoppable force, a Comet offense that's averaging 47 plus points a game in the 11 regular season games they played. 
Hunter, let's talk a little bit about this St. Charles Catholic team. What's been special about this team this year that's allowed you guys to get as far as you've got? You know, it's the coaches. I mean, the coaches do everything for us. They, uh, you know, they get us prepared. They scout. They watch film. They do all that. I mean, we've had a lot of adversity. We uh, had a bunch of injuries, including myself. I've been out for a while, but these coaches get us prepared. And through the injuries, how much have you had to rely on your own faith and belief in yourself to come back through these injuries and help this team? Just to work hard, you know, just be a senior, be senior leadership. You know, and these guys look up to me and just senior leadership and just keep working. Are you a leader by example or are you just a vocal leader? Uh, more of an example. I'm not that big of a vocal guy, but I can be vocal every now and then. Yeah. So. As an older player on this team, how do you go out and help uh, some of the younger guys get up for the big ones, get ready to go? You know, just tell them keep working, you know. Uh, tell them good job, tell them great job, you know, just tell them what to do right, you know, and just keep them going. Don't let them get down on themselves and just teach them how to work hard and hustle. The St. Charles Catholic team is special because it's part of a program that Frank Monica has built here. How has Coach Monica helped you get ready, not only to be a winner, but to be a leader after high school? You know, I mean, he just teaches you good moral values and, you know, he just, he's a very good Catholic guy. He teaches, you know, not just to work hard but just keep working and keep working and don't give up on yourself always be confident in yourself he's a great guy what has he taught you about overcoming adversity overcoming the odds and knowing you can win you know just keep a focus don't don't lose focus always just be prepared and don't get your mind don't let your mind wander and just keep focus uh, on his back uh, he was injured early in the year he missed eight ball games for us and whatever and he's he's come back and and uh, he hasn't complained he hasn't missed a beat He's, he's been our starting center for, for the last two and a half years and whatever. We moved him to guard and center and whatnot. He's just been a pleasure to coach and very intelligent. Makes all our line calls up front. Uh, and he's just, just been a, a, just, a, just a steadying force with the young offensive lineman that we yeah. have. Talk a little bit about your position and how it's helped this team be at the success that it is so far. I mean, it's a key position, but you know, it takes Donnie throwing it and the offensive line blocking for us all the time. So it makes my job really easy. What is it when you say the word team? What is it about this St. Charles Catholic team that makes you guys so close knit and, and uh, has allowed you to come together to win? I mean, we just kind of all grew up together, and you know, we just know how to play. You know, it's just it's just a team effort, all of us together. When the chips have been down, how have you been a leader for this team? I just lead by example. You know, I do what I got to do in the practice field and on the field. You know, that's that's all it is. I just lead by example, not much vocal. Hey, we got a lot of example leaders here. Who's the vocal leaders of this team? Uh, you know, some of the defensive players, they lead by vocal, you know. That's what you need to do as a defense, though. So. Talk a little bit about the, this team in the playoffs. What's it been like so far? And, and uh, give me a little give, give me a little uh, example of what's allowed this team to come through the playoffs as successfully as you have. I mean, we just stay together. We had a lot of adversity, but it just staying together, the team has really got us through it. Uh, Chris Guy has been in our program for four years, and if someone said that this guy would start for you when he runs a 5 40 and he weighs 145 pounds, you would say, Coach, you're smoking something. But uh, all he does, uh, and he, you know, he's a very intelligent kid. You know, he's got a very, very high ACT. He's got a 27 ACT, and he never makes a mistake on the field. And he works hard. He blocks and whatnot. And he's not going to he's, he's not going to run out of sight in a week. But what he does, he catches the football, and he, he he's a he's a he's a true comet. And he's a program player. He does everything you ask him, and never misses practice. He's been here for four years, and just a pleasure to coach. Sammy, first of all, wide receiver. I'm looking. You just look fast. How fast? Uh, I'm as fast as I ran was a 4-4 at the Louisiana College camp. So, good. And so with the, thinking about that, you, how has your speed helped this team be as successful as it is? Well, uh, I mean, this year, you know, our quarterback, he's a senior, and this is my second year really playing. So, you know, we worked a lot during the summer, and it's not so much me being fast. It's just, you know, clean, crisp routes and knowing what we're going to do, and that's really helped us evolve in the passing game this year. What have you learned from the more experienced players on this team? Um, well, like a lot of us have been here since eighth grade, so it's five years, so it's really like a family we got. And, you know, we all know what the next person's going to do, so it really helps us, you know, just come together and play really good football. How does Coach Monica help get you prepared for life after football and, and uh, just uh, life in general? Uh, just the work ethic that he instills in you. You know, just, you know, you got to work for everything, every little bit, and not slack at all. And if, you know, you give it your all, you, you can do whatever you want to do. You look back at what you enjoy most about this football team and your teammates, what would it be? Uh, you know, just the bonding experience that you have with, you know, all my buddies just playing football together and winning, especially. How, how far can this team go? 
as far as we wanted to go. You know, everybody keeps telling me that, but is that something y'all really believe? Uh, yes, sir. We believe it since the first week of the year, and we still believe it today. Sammy Miller, just a just a constant, uh, just a great route route runner. He's got great hands, whatnot. He's our leading receiver on the football team. Um, maybe 135 pounds, whatnot, and just a just a, a football player that won't say two words. You know, and he's, he's, he belongs to that quiet group I call my stealth group. But he's a uh, he's just a quality receiver for us, and he's had a phenomenal year. When we come back, we'll have more with Coach Frank Monica and the St. Charles Catholic Comets right after this on Talking Chalk on WHNO TV 20 Sports. Welcome back to Talking Chalk. Coach Frank Monica has built winners everywhere he has ever coached. At Riverside, at Lutcher, at Jesuit. And when he was at Tulane running the offense for Buddy Tevens, the offense flourished in that short, short amount of time. Now, at St. Charles Catholic, in his 12th year, Frank Monica has not only built a good program, he is maintaining it. You have to wonder if it's easier to build the program or maintain it. Oh, it's, all, it's always harder to build and whatnot, but once you get there, I mean, you know, there's the bullseye that's created by everybody and saying, and then uh, even harder to schedule, you know, because everybody thinks that you're playing with it. Well, you come out there and see what, what our players are like and whatnot. Uh, you're not going to see four or four guys and whatnot there. I have, don't, don't get me wrong, we do have a couple of good players and whatnot, but, you know, we have, we have, we have guys that like to play the game and they, like, they play with heart. And, uh, and it's our job not to let them down. And that's our motto around here as coaches. Don't let the players down. Put them in position to have success. How has this community supported you? Oh, it's been tremendous. Uh, uh, we, you know, we get a, a great crowd. Our quarterback clubs have been, been fun to be around this year and whatnot. And uh, uh, as you can see, the, our cheerleaders and student body gets behind us and whatnot. And it, it's all part of the tradition. But uh, I think that, you know, that's, that's what we hope we bring to the table on, on Friday. Is we bring more than just a, a, a team. We bring a tradition to the table. You got one of the strongest Fellowship of Christian Athlete groups ever in any high school organization, and I know your faith means a lot to you. How much have you had to rely on your faith in your coaching career just to keep your your compass where it needs to be? Oh, don't you know? I've asked the Lord several times, "Why Patterson second round?" The Lord, <laughs> I said, "I said, you know, you owe me a favor here somewhere." But uh, believe me, I I think that you know, and our football players feed off of that. We have a very very strong. Uh, uh, FCA chapter here run by Mr. Gary Zerang and whatnot and and a lot of our players participate in that and and I, I think we, we understand that there's a stronger power uh, that controls everything else and um, and uh, even though uh, we, we lift weights and whatnot we we also 
uh, embrace our, our hands and whatnot prior to every ball game and after every ball game and after every practice and thanking the good Lord for the opportunity to be here because a couple weeks ago we honored a, 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 one of our guys that had muscular dystrophy that's one of our trainers whatnot and our kids were appreciative of that the fact that they're able to play this football game to play this great game and be perfectly healthy. Thank you coach Frank Monica for doing a great job at St. Charles Catholic and wherever you have coached football. If you played football from the 1950s through the 1980s and would like to appear on a Talk and Chalk Look Back series or Look Back episode, please email us at talkandchalk at gmail.com. We'd like to hear from you and maybe you and your class members and teammates might appear on one of our Look Back series. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for being with us on Talk and Chalk on WHNO TV 20 Sports. I'm Kim Berthelot.